I'm Fire Chief Tom Forward. Welcome to Unseen with Tampa Fire Rescue. This month, we'll take you to the training grounds for a live fire training exercise. This is as real as it gets. Toxic smoke, raging fire, and temperatures exceeding 800 degrees. Tampa Fire Rescue instructors have it all in the control though. This is the kind of training that saves lives when the real thing happens. Training Chief Russell Spicola tells us why every Tampa firefighter will go through this training in 2012. What we're doing here is unheard of. Um, Captain Dougherty, uh, if you talk to him, he's been uh, to a couple of uh, panel assessments, uh, promotional assessments around the state, and he advised the people that he was there with what we were doing, and they all said, even from large apartments, Orange County, Orlando, what you guys are doing there is unheard of. It's a, a valuable learning tool. You know, we take your hat, we take our hat off to you because what you're doing there is great for the crews. We're doing this because, for one, this is what the crews have asked for. This is their building that you see behind me. Uh, it's a valuable learning tool. We get to see now, the, the experience that they're going through now, what a fire looks like prior to our arrival. When we get there, the fire's already going. Now we get to see how it starts, how, how it progresses within time, temperatures, and it gives us a better feeling when we go inside a fire what we're faced with. If, the, if we know the fire's been burning for 20 minutes, the temperatures are probably up there in the range of plus 600 degrees plus. Okay, so that gives us an idea. By being in this building, we experience that through the time frame, and it's a very valuable, valuable piece of equipment. Proper training almost always begins in the classroom, and every student undergoes a thorough briefing and a medical check before putting on their bunker gear and heading into the burn.
Training Officer Jason Dargety is an 11-year veteran firefighter. Part of his job is to make sure the exercise is as realistic as possible while keeping the students and instructors safe. About four, four to five years ago, we purchased the burn building, and we've had our new hires and our recruits go through, and the fire academy recruits go through the burn building, but we have never actually put our whole job through the burn building. So it was a perfect opportunity to put our whole job through the burn building to give them real life simulation of what a flashover would be in an actual burn structure. A flashover is when temperatures get high enough inside the building that the gases and the smoke all ignite together at one time. The, the uh, Inside the burn building, it's a total controlled environment by my instructors who are state certified fire instructors that have went through um, 40 hours of additional training in the instructor field of live fire training. That way it's a contr totally controlled environment. All the precautions are in place to make sure we don't have anybody hurt in this exercise. We've had nothing but positive feedback. It's something firefighters like to do. They like to get out there and get hands on, get inside, see a fire, work on the uh, different aspects of the fire behavior, knocking down that fire. And uh, as far as feedback from the street, it's been nothing but overwhelming success from our guys. Captain David Dittman led the first training burn from the inside of the burn building, of course. We interviewed him just as soon as he walked out of the burn. We just took a uh, fire from the incipient stage, took it through the growth stage, all the way up to a rollover, almost a flashover in the container, through the decay phase to show our firefighters at Tampa Fire Rescue the, the four phase of fire and what we're looking for as we charge down a hallway to put a fire out. We basically bringing them up to speed and uh, refresh a little bit about flashover behavior and our fire behavior. And uh, so far, this in service, we, we put about 500 of our uh, sworn personnel through this, this uh, facility, and it's been a great turnaround. It's pretty hot. It's, a, it's a nice, and, nice and cool while we're inside the initial growth stage. We just light a, a pallet and a container on fire. And then as we get up into the, uh, we've simulated walls and a roof, trust roof up in the top of the ceiling. As it gets into that and starts to really take off, it shows us that uh, the, the, heated, the heated gases are starting to really collect. The fire intensifies. As we add more oxygen to it, it starts to get intense. It ignites all the, uh, the smoke in the room and puts us into a flame flashover. It, it takes the temperature up about 500 degrees immediately. You can tell the difference, and it's giving these guys a good sense of what they should feel and know for while they're charging down the hallway. It's very safe. We, have, uh, we follow uh, NFPA 1403. We do live fire. We have nothing but live fire training instructors out here. We uh, have a calculated fire load with um, masonite and pallets. We have charged our uh, inch and three quarter hand lines with the proper gallons per minute required uh, per the state of Florida. And we've also come through with an additional backup line in case we were to lose uh, water on our uh, main pump. We have a backup line off a different source. And so we, we keep it safe in there. We've got uh, two safety guys in the back, uh, two firefighters with LFTIs. They're constantly monitoring the uh, ceiling temperature, the fire room temperature, and the floor level while our firefighters are sitting with a thermal imaging camera. So far, it's been absolutely positive. Captain uh, Jason Doherty has done a wonderful job making us uh, aware and bringing this facility to light, finally getting it for our, our, our entire uh, organization. Uh, the feedback's been nothing but positive. He collects evaluation at the end of the, uh, the, the uh, in-service and in the class, he fill out an evaluation, and it's been nothing but rave reviews. They want to do it again. Part of the training takes place from the outside looking in. Smoke isn't just smoke. To a trained firefighter, smoke tells a story. Just by looking at the way smoke is moving, firefighters can tell where the flame source is located. And the color of the smoke can give us an idea of what materials is burning. Instructor Tony Perez leads a smoke class during the first burn, then suits up and heads inside for burn number two.
What we did is we did a fire behavior. What we did, we had an opportunity to show our members of the fire department the different stages of fire, starting with the ignition into the growth, fully developed slash flashover into that decay stage, and giving them all the precursors that lead up the flashover that kills firefighters. It gives them a sense of being able to identify the red flags, okay, and giving them some resources on how to change the environment. What's burning, what's about to happen, and how do we change that environment, absolutely. Room temperature, uh, and on the floor, midway, just above our heads, is anywhere once we start getting the, the free burning into that rollover stage, it's about four to five, and then up at the ceiling level is close to 800 to over 1,000 degrees. We're sitting just below the floor level, and we are just showing them the off-gassing, all, the, all the, the fire that's developing, that's super saturating the combustible materials inside that room, and showing them all those precursors before flashover without getting hurt. They're below, so the fire is rolling up over our heads and not at floor level, like we would typically have in a, in a house fire. Flashovers have been killing numerous and numerous of firefighters over the last couple of years, and uh, we're just trying to make an awareness and trying to show our guys that we need to be smarter, we still need to be aggressive, but be smarter in our tactics and identifying those red flags so we don't get caught over in a flashover and possibly die or get seriously hurt. You heard it again and again. This is the type of training your Tampa firefighters ask for on a regular basis. I couldn't be proud of the men and women of Tampa Fire Rescue. And I'm glad you could join us today for an insider's look at live fire training. I'm Chief Tom Forward. Thanks for watching.